welcome to my kitchen. On today's recipe, I have Afghan cuisine. That is a rice recipe known for the name of Qabli Palau. Qabli Palau is uh, rice that's cooked uh, in a meat broth and it's garnished with uh, dry fruit. You can serve this with a salad side or uh, pickles, uh, which is Afghan chutney. I'll show you how to make uh, uh, the tomato chutney today as well that goes with the Qabli Palau. Let's take a look at the recipe. Let's go to the ingredient. For the Qabli Palau, uh, which is the rice, uh, the Afghan rice, what I'm uh, cooking today with the chicken. So I have about two pounds of chicken uh, breast with the drumsticks here. And uh, we need onions. I have three medium onions here, which I uh, chopped them in the size. We also need some spices. This is my mixed spice. I'll, I'll let you know what spices I have in this. That's for the rice. And for the meat, I need um, clove sticks I have here and some green cardamom. We also need salt. I have rice here as well, which I soak for about two hours. And for the garnishing, I have here a sliced almond, peeled almond. I also have uh, raisins and some sliced carrots. You can also use pistachio if you like. And I'm gonna make my own chutney today, tomato chutney. For that I need some tomatoes, so I have uh, one medium tomato here, green cilantro, uh, some garlic, and green chili pepper is uh, optional. If you don't like spicy, you don't have to put this, and some vinegar. So let's go to the cooking now. Uh, I have my pot here on medium heat. We need a generous amount of oil, so I'm going to add about half a cup of oil in this. Then you're going to add the onions in this. On this other pan, I'm going to make the um, the dry fruits, but I'm going to saute it a bit. So we need some oil for this, just about uh, four to six tablespoons of oil. Make sure your heat is on medium, so you're going to add the carrots. It's been about three minutes that I'm stirring the onions. Now I'm going to wait till this onion gets basically roasted. This is very normal for Afghan Pabli Palau. A lot of families um, burn their onions. So we're gonna wait till the onion gets nice and brown, like burn basically. It's been about three minutes I've been stirring the carrots here. Once you can feel them, they're tender, you're gonna add the almonds. Add the raisins. I forgot to mention the sugar part for this. You need good about uh, six tablespoon of sugar. It took me about um, eight minutes to six to uh, saute this. Uh, you can uh, add now a powder of the green cardamom. So I'm just gonna add the powder of green cardamom on this and this is ready, you can put it aside. So far the onions have turned to this uh, color. Let this get a little bit more burnt. The onions are completely burned. This is normal, don't worry about it. Now we're gonna add the chicken one by one. Burning the onions gives it really good flavor with the, with the meat and also brings a good color to your rice. Once you mix the meat well, you're gonna add the crushed uh, green car, um, cardamom and also the black uh, clove sticks. I'm adding salt, salt is to your taste. Make sure you have enough salt because you're gonna be adding the rice in this as well. Next I'm gonna add the water. Make sure the water is over, just a little bit over the meat here. And then let this uh, get boiled, come to a boil like this and let it get cooked until the meat is tender. So it takes about 15 to 20 minutes. The chicken is uh, cooked now, it's been about 15 minutes. This is also gonna get steamed with the rice. So you can take this one by one and make sure you taste the water a little bit, the, I mean the chicken broth. There's enough um, salt because you need good salt in order to have the rice as well in there. So just take off all the meat. Now we need to drain the water of the chicken broth, separated from the burnt onions. So make sure you have a pot under this because you need to save the water. So just drain this. So this is gonna go in your garbage. You don't need this onions, but you need the broth. So save the broth for the rice. On this hot boiling water, I'm gonna add the rice. 
I just want to show you guys what this uh, rice spice is that Afghans majority majority of the time they use for their rice, especially the qabli palau or palau in general. So I have cumin seeds, green cardamom, black clove sticks. This is a whole black cardamom and some cinnamon. Uh, you grind them all into a powder and you can st store them and every time you make Afghan rice or general rice you can use this. Now in my grinder I don't use the cinnamon stick uh, much because it kind of racks it so instead of it you can use the cinnamon powder if you like. So just to give you an idea. My rice been uh, been boiling for about good uh, three to four minutes. You don't want to boil this too much because it will get uh, sticky and soggy so when you feel it you can feel the broke it broke and it's ready. So you can go ahead drain the water so in the same pot, once I drain the water of the rice, you're going to add the water back, I mean the, the rice back. Now I'm going to add the chicken broth. Once you mix the, the chicken broth with the rice, you're going to add a little bit of the uh, rice spice, the masala. Once you mix everything well, you're going to set aside uh, all the meat. Once you set aside the meat, and the, um, the dry fruit here. You're gonna let this get steamed for about uh, 20 to 25 minutes. Make sure your heat is on a very low. Now it's the time to make the tomato chutney here. So I'm gonna blend everything. I'm also gonna add less than a half a cup of vinegar in this, white vinegar. Uh, I'm gonna add some salt, salt is to your taste. Once you blend everything, it should look something like this. This is the tomato chutney. Make sure you taste for the salt. It's been a good 25 minutes. The kabuli palau is ready. So I usually give the rice good mix and we can serve this now. The chicken kabuli palau is ready. I have garnished it with the dry fruits here. And we're going to serve this with um, our homemade tomato chutney. I hope you guys get a chance to try this recipe. And thank you very much for watching.